Hello, it is Fioritina and I am coming to you today to make apple pie. Apple pie. And here I have four, five apples. And I am going to pair, finish pairing these apples. I am also going to do two tags. Who's tag? Jasmine's Monday tag, May 16th, 2016, and Mark's tag. One, Jasmine's Tags. Name a song which reminds you most about you and why. Well, I don't know. There's so many of them. Several songs remind me of me. Uh, if I had to pick one, Oh, I don't know. There's not one. There's several. The Goodbye Girl reminds me of me. Angel of the Morning reminds me of me. Uh, what else? Mona Lisa reminds me of me. Uh, what else? Well, that's mostly it. What else? Question one. Question two. Your ideal face different than what you have now? Well, A lot slimmer. Uh, when I was young, what did I want when I was young? I don't know. Just to be like a movie star, I guess. Number three. Profession you would choose to be trained. field. Extremely difficult. I guess if I had to be, a, I would like to be a cosmetics lady. That would have been fun. Now I was a secretary in my life and worked very hard as a secretary in several large companies. And that was difficult, but it wasn't extremely hard, you know. Not like hardwood nursing or teaching would be. But cosmetics would be fun. Or in the uh, garment industry, being a professional designer in the garment industry would be fun. Number four. Do you dislike your life and why? No, not really. Um, it hasn't been an easy life, but it hasn't been a hard life. Now, there's a few things I might go back and change. 
but not many. Five. What do you do when you get bored at home? I go out. <laughs> I go out and walk around, take pictures of stupid things like trees and leaves and flowers in the summer. Winter, I go out walking. Before my foot got broke, I went out walking in the snowstorms and took pictures of the snowstorms. That was fun. I visit my sister in the country. That's always fun. She always has a glass of wine for me. <laughs> okay, that's Jasmine's tag. And Mark's tag. One. What child would you least want as your child? Rhoda Penmark is a, this in the bad seed. Damien in the omen. Reagan in the exorcist. I would have to go like you, Mark, and say Raymond in the exorcist because like you say, <coughs> Damien was awful. Oh. Dying through that glass and the glass floor. That was awful. Scared the bejesus out of me. And the exorcist. I've never seen the bad seeds, so I couldn't say about that. But in the exorcist. It was extremely scary. This is sugar. You pour on. bit of sugar. Okay. Yeah, I would least like to be uh, which child would you least want as your child? Damien. Damien in the omen. I wouldn't want to be him. The exorcist. That was lemon juice. And, uh, yeah. The omen was a pretty scary movie. Oh, creepy. And number two. Would you rather speak the language of a country you will never visit or live in a utopian country where the language is too difficult to learn. Well, we sort of have that here in Quebec. We have French and English. French is the official language and if you don't speak French it makes it very difficult because you cannot get a job. You cannot work in an office. You are not uh, many things you can't do, you know. So, what, what I, would you rather speak the language of a country you will never visit or live in a utopian country where the language is difficult to learn. I would rather live in a utopian country where the language is too difficult to learn because when I was growing up we were French and English and some of my relatives were, spoke only French, some spoke only English, and some spoke French and English. But it didn't matter. We all got along. We all knew to sit on the couch when there was a party and be polite and sit with your parents and drink pop and parents knew to make a supper and 
Queen Elizabeth cake and our dessert. It was great fun. Didn't seem to matter that we didn't speak a language. You go to a wedding, it didn't seem to matter that you didn't speak the language. You knew what it was. You were in a church. There were two young people in love getting married. The lady was pretty, all dressed pretty. Didn't matter that you didn't speak the language. So, yes, live in a utopian country where the language is too difficult to learn. And that's my answers. Thank you.